Hamstrings typically are, uh, they get strained for many, many reasons. They have dual innervation, tibial, peroneal innervation. We know that's a problem. But also, when you have an anteriorly, inferiorly rotated pelvic bowl, it makes the hamstrings uh, stretch weakened, they get longer. And what can happen is we start to get a recurring little hamstring pulls from either overuse injuries or uh, repetitive strain things. And we think now that the fibroblastic activity trying to repair the collagen starts causing uh, these layers to stick to one another, which we've always thought fascial bags, we knew the fascial bags could, could possibly stick to each other, and so that's what this technique is going to address. There, when Tom Meyer says muscles that are locked long, how can muscles be locked long? Well, on the hamstrings, these things are long because they're overstretched as ischial tuberosities have to go up. They're on the stretch, and then you get these adhesions that go on between the fascial bags that glue the hamstrings down in a locked long position. They're still weak, but they're locked long. You can do all the hamstring work you want, but you may not have a lot of good results until you start to separate the fascial hamstring bags. Got to separate uh, all of the hamstrings and also you got to get the adductor magnus out of there. Ma adductor magnus may be a hamstring muscle. It's enclosed in uh, one of the uh, fascial bags partially with uh, sem uh, semimembranosis. So one of the techniques that I love a lot, been doing it a long time, many years, uh, is I'm going to try to roll the fascial bags over on one another first in a uh, transverse plane 